look at this. This is amazing. I mean, it looks so delicious. It even looks sweet. Good morning, everyone. It's Tai Fong. Right now, I'm heading to a restaurant that is really famous for their pork leg rice. This is actually my third attempt going to this place. The first time I went, it was actually at about 4 p.m. and they were actually closed. The second time I went, they actually ran out of pork legs. So the only thing they had left was wonton noodles. So hopefully, third time lucky. It is third time lucky. I have gotten my pork leg rice. You can see that there's starting to be a queue outside. People line up for this pork leg rice. There's a big pot of pork leg rice just kind of simmering in its own juices outside. When you order it, they just get the pork leg and they just cut it up, put it on top of the rice and serve it to you. I'm very excited to try this. I can smell it already. It smells very aromatic. It comes with an egg and some pickled vegetables and also they've just topped it with some cilantro. Look at all these pork trotters just on top of the rice, just blistering with juices. It's just pretty much a braised pork over rice. So I'm gonna get a piece of pork leg. Oh, yes. I can taste a lot of pepper. It tastes like a lot of soy sauce and black pepper. The pork itself is actually really, really melting your mouth. It's nice and soft, silky, and it kind of just disintegrates. Try some of the skin. Mm. Oh, the skin melts even more. It really just disintegrates in my mouth. It tastes really, really sweet nice soy sauce flavor to it. All the pork trotters were just swimming in all that pork juice braised inside. It's delicious. The pork itself is actually very nice and sweet and tender, very soft, so you don't even have to do much chewing. Let's try some pickled vegetables with the rice and a bit of pork. Mm. Oh yeah. See that pickled vegetable is a little bit sour as well. Nice and crunchy. So it really goes well with the salty pork. I can see why people line up for this. It's actually a nice light lunch. It's actually kind of breakfast now. We come here really early because they're really known to run out of their dishes and just close. And as you can see, it's early in the morning and this place is completely packed with people and it's always like that. And they've also given some side condiments as well. You've got some chili sauce and then they've given some raw garlic and I guess people just eat it as a side. This looks like chili and lemon. Just kind of just drizzle it all over. Oh yes. Let me get a garlic and just kind of mix it together. Eat it together with the pork and the rice. Mm. The chili is a little bit sour as well, so it really complements the saltiness of the pork leg. And then you got this boiled egg. This dish is known to come with a braised egg or a boiled egg. I usually don't like egg yolk. I don't like boiled egg yolk, but this one is actually not too bad. It's not very chalky. It's actually nice and fluffy. It's nice and soft. And also, I don't know if it's flavored, but it's sweet as well. It's probably just coming from the egg itself. The egg white is just nice and chewy, not overcooked where it's too chewy. Excellent. Great dish, great dish. Oh, I can't wait to just finish it. Mm. It's so fresh. All the pork trotters were just inside that pot, simmering. And then when you order it, they just cut it up so it's nice and fresh, nice and hot. That's why I think it tastes so good as well. It kind of comes right out of the pot, straight to your table. See all the juices on the rice, it's just delicious. All that raised pork juice on the rice. Oh, it's just so flavorful. Mm. That black pepper is very distinct. Seems like they put a lot of black pepper in it. Probably whole black peppers as well. Just what gives it that great aroma to it. I also ordered a chrysanthemum tea. I haven't had chrysanthemum in a while. Let's see what this tastes like. Ah, I love chrysanthemum. It's actually really refreshing. Nice and sweet. Kind of that chrysanthemum flower and some sugar inside. Very good. Kind of washed everything down. The pork leg rice is actually a hundred part. The lady just told me that it is not a fixed price. So it's starting at a hundred and I think depending on maybe the season or something, it, it may go up. I would highly recommend coming here early. Before 11.30 would be ideal because not only is there a line, 
But once they run out of food, it's done. They will close. So they will not remake the pork leg or the wonton noodles. And it's usually the pork leg rice that would run out first because it is a very famous dish here. I hear that their wonton noodles are great as well. And next time I'll probably come here and try their wonton noodles. But this pork leg rice was definitely worth the wait. It's really delicious. Their pork leg rice and their wonton noodles are so famous. Someone has stolen their idea, taking a picture with their head chef and taking it overseas and advertise it and market it as theirs. There is no brand in Singapore. This place is the original place, which I highly recommend. It's totally worth it, worth the wait and it's right in the middle of Bangkok, so it's very easy to get to. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you've only got one life. Live it.